Andrew, thanks for uh, sitting down talking with me about Mission Impact Celebration. Coming up very quickly, March 14th through the 18th, a lot of things are going to be happening. But today, let's just talk about why we're doing this and what we want to accomplish within the congregation and with the missionaries who come in. So we've identified four things. First, awareness. So what do we mean by awareness? We want people to be aware of the desperate need for the gospel around the world. In Boston, we want people to be aware that Boston is 2.3% evangelical. Every people group in Central Asia is unreached with the gospel. And we need to know that, be aware of that. So when we become aware of these things, then it's further built by establishing relationships. So that's our second word, relationships. So what, what do we mean by that? We are bringing people during Mission Impact Celebration from all over the world. Yeah. Workers that we're connected to, workers that, that have asked us to pray for them and we're supporting them, workers that we've sent out that are members of Parkwood living around the world, and workers that we've partnered with in Central Asia and in Phoenix and in Boston. And they come to Parkwood, they come to this campus, and we get to meet them, have conversation with them, yeah. be connected with them and build a relationship with them. So tell me some of the ways that we're going to create opportunities that relationships can be built throughout the week. So on Wednesday night, it's going to be a day of prayer and fasting, and Wednesday night will be a prayer service where we come together and we will hear workers pray. Mm -hmm. Workers will be with us and they'll pray for the concerns that we're lifting up. Mm -hmm. The workers will be with growth groups during that prayer and fasting and praying with growth groups. Thursday night, off-campus growth groups, workers will be coming and meeting with them, having dinner with them, fellowshipping, sharing with growth groups on Thursday night. Mm -hmm. Friday is a time when we're going to hear from workers from Central Asia talk about Central Asia, about the biblical perspective on missions in Central Asia, mm -hmm. the historical perspective um, on missions in Central Asia, and the practical, practical perspective of how about we can get involved, how we can get involved in Central Asia. On Saturday, it's going to be a, a time of, of getting together, a time of fellowshipping, sharing around a meal, around a cookout, and then hearing kind of the similar, similar perspective on Boston. So we'll be hearing from Aaron Peters, who's planning a church in Boston. Mm -hmm. And then Sunday will be worship. And growth group, uh, workers will be in on-campus growth groups on Sunday morning. Really, there should be no excuse that we, we, if we've never met a missionary and we really want to have a conversation with somebody who actually does this, the opportunity. You'll be able to have a conversation this week. Yeah. Right. All that should lead to the third thing is prayer. That's right. So how do awareness and relationship lead us to prayer? You know how to pray for somebody when you have a conversation with them. When you ask them about their story and you get to hear the story of how they're called to the field, when you get to hear their struggles and, and what they're dealing with and how they're sharing with this person, with that person, the relationships they're building, the struggles they're going through as a family, you hear from them personally how you can pray for them. So uh, as a church... If, if we ne never are able to set our feet on the ground, we can beseech the Lord of the harvest and we can pray. Right. And that awareness and relationship certainly build us to prayer. But it also, when we pray to the Lord of the harvest, he sends people out. So the last thing we want to see is mobilization. So what do we mean by mobilization? We want people to go. Mm -hmm. Earnestly pray to the Lord of the harvest that he would send workers into his harvest field. We want to see people from Parkwood go. Mm -hmm. And... Spending time around workers who have been called, hearing those stories mm -hmm. is, is a way that the Lord calls people out, um, is a way that the Lord will make known to people, kind of burden their heart for an area, and you can go spend a week there in the summer or in the spring, and you can spend time with these workers that you've gotten to see and gotten to talk to during the, the Mission Impact Celebration. So, so going can be short-term. What is that, short-term? Short-term is less than two months. So typically a week to week and a half day, week and a half trip. Okay. So that's normal. People take vacation, right. go to the short right. term. All right, midterm. Midterm is two months to two years. Okay. So going to spend a summer, going to do a two-year journeyman, something okay. a little a little more. So we're looking probably college students or young adults or retired people that's right. when we think of midterm. That's right. All right, long term. Long term is greater than two years. Okay. So you're picking up, moving your family hmm. to another place to plant your life, learn the culture, learn the language. One of the things we've learned in, when we have the workers come, in fact, uh, I think of the, the one family from Kosovo who's actually joined our church because of the Mission Impact Celebration. Some of these workers don't have churches as connected to them right. as we are to our workers. So we need to be very aware of that as we're building relationships, not with those we, just we know, right. but those that we're going to learn. Uh, so we want to 
We want to pray for them and engage with them. Uh, but we also want to pray for you since this is your uh, first mission to impact celebration. It's a huge uh, undertaking. A lot happens, uh, but God's going to bless it and use it. So thank you for your work. Right. Thanks.